What is up, you sexy beasts? Hope you guys are doing well. It's Thursday morning here, and uh, I think it was about a week ago. Yeah, I think it was last Thursday. I did a Wonder Max snatch. Um, I was gonna build up to like 80 kgs, 85. Ended up hitting 90, and then, oh, almost punched a hole in that light. And then just failed 95. So um, today, I'm gonna reattempt it. See if I can hit that 95, maybe even a bit more. So normally, I just have some BCAs um, from BPN during my workout. Nice little watermelon flavor. But I saw this in the back of the cupboard. I haven't touched this for so long. Uh, it is pre-workout. I never have pre-workout, but I thought, you know what? It's Wonder Max Snatch Day. I might try some pre-workout. <coughs> sour Power Peach. Sour Power Peach. Sour Power Peach. Sounds good. Got to have my drinks icy cold, eh? These are just the money, the big ice cube makers, holders, highly recommend. What do you reckon? Full scoop or half scoop? <laughs> Let's go full scoop, eh? Let's go full scoop. Do you guys get the tingles when you have pre-workout? I get the tingles, my whole body goes tingly. So Oh, yeah. That tastes like 95 kgs. Okay, we've got our pre-workout, got our BCAs, we're set to go, baby. Got my seven mil knee sleeves, my wildlife thumb tape, my Nike Romelios. Thought while I, uh, while I get ready here, I'll answer a few questions I've been asked. Firstly, my running, running's still going. Uh, probably not running as often as I'd like, but I'm still running and still got that goal in mind for July, the uh, Gold Coast Marathon. I'm gonna try and run a sub 3:55 minute marathon. Uh, muscle ups, yes, I have been doing them. So I had that I had that little scare uh, a few weeks back with the wooden rings breaking on me and uh, almost falling on my head. But I have been I have been doing muscle ups on the plastic rings, and I still want to get that goal of 15 unbroken. But I'm probably uh, I'm probably more maintaining than anything else on the muscle ups at the moment. I'll have to do some more specific work to uh, to get that 15 unbroken goal. And then someone asked about the um, the saying "raw love." Why do I use the saying "raw love"? What does it actually mean? Well, firstly, you guys are all beasts. You're sexy beasts, and beasts raw, I guess. So that's where the raw comes from. Oh no. Gotta love it. <clears throat> and then, as far as the uh, the love part goes, I just believe that love is the most powerful force in the world. And I think there's enough hate in this world, so I want to be someone who contributes to the uh, the amount of love being spread around. So when I say raw love, I just mean like join me in the mission to just spread love and good vibes. You know, like I feel like people get so easily offended these days and just vomit hate on each other and so I guess I'm just trying to encourage people to stop think about how they respond think about the other person they're just a human being like me and you going through their own crap and struggles and challenges and to, uh, to try and respond with a bit more love you know rather than impatience and hatred and annoyance and all the other nasty things out there so yeah pretty simple really be a sexy beast which means you're confident in who you are and uh, raw love spread the love Simple message, but I think if we all do it, it can make a big difference, you know? Not quite, uh, not quite feeling the tingle yet. Let's go. Still not feeling the pre-workout, eh? It's been in the cupboard a while. I wonder if it expires. Or well, maybe it'll just hit me all of a sudden. But other than that, feeling really good today. So I thought while I'm snatching here, I'll, uh, I'll share my five top tips for improving your snatch. Now, I'm not an Olympic lifting coach, but um, I have been coaching CrossFit for about nine years. And been to a bunch of Olympic lifting seminars 
and I've done the lift myself for years. So I've got a few just basic tips, not pro tips, just basic tips that I think will help you. Number one, you have to use a hook grip. I know you hate it, I know it hurts, and it's uncomfortable to start with, but honestly, you're limiting your snatch so much by not using a hook grip. So strap those thumbs up, get them hard, and just commit to doing it. Just push through those initial sucky months where your thumb hurts, it's always ripped and sore, and initially you feel weaker with the hook grip because you're not used to it, but once you get the hang of it, it's like a self-tightening system. That bar just tightens in your hand as you pull it off, and just do it. Just use a hook grip. Tip number one. Oh, there we go, the tingles just come in. The tingle, it starts in your head, doesn't it? Start feeling your face tingling. Good, good feeling. Normally it takes about 20 minutes, half an hour. I think I've timed it perfectly. That's unfortunate. I just ripped. That's all right, I'll push through it. Tip number two, you have to work the different positions. The snatch is so complex, and if you break it down to three different positions and work those in isolation, it just goes such a long way when you put it all together. So you gotta work on that first pull off the ground in isolation. Just from the ground to above the knee. For beginner to intermediate level lifters, that first pull is where everything goes wrong. That is yank it off the ground, and the, the bar path starts wrong from the very go. So make it nice and controlled, nice and slow. Make sure the hammies are already engaged in the setup. I think the mistake we make is we watch like high level lifters or crossfitters and we see this dynamic start, which they do, which is great for them because they've done hours and hours of snatching and they can handle it. And we try and do this dynamic start as well. And we just lose position. So instead of doing a dynamic start, which is basically kind of finding the tension in the hamstrings as you start your lift, Start your lift already in tension, so make sure the hamstrings are already tight and engaged, and then lift off. And that way you just eliminate the risk of losing position, trying to find that tension on the way up. So make sure that first pull is slow and controlled, make sure you start already having tension in the hammies, and then lastly just sweep the knees back and out of the way. You don't want that bar to move around the knees, just make sure the knees sweep back and out of the way as you rise up. Second pull from above the knee into that power position. The main thing here is to drive the knees forwards and under the bar, so you end up in this high hang position with active quads, so your knees shouldn't be straight, your knees should be bent and loaded. So that second pull is super tricky and I would just spend heaps of time with the empty bar or even just the broomstick, just practicing loading the quads as you bring the knees through and the chest back. What happened to your hand? It just ripped. Well, so you were doing what? Just the bar. And then finally that last position from the high hang position, driving up and going under, you can just simply do that by doing high hang snatches. So just loading the quads and getting used to jumping out of that midfoot. So rather than just slinging the bar from the hamstrings, you actually want to be loading the quads, you want the weight to be in the balls of the feet, and you want to be able to drive up through the quads from there. So just doing lots of high hang snatches is going to be a good, uh, good drill for that third position. So that's tip number two. Practice and drill the three different positions. Don't just do the whole lift by itself the whole time. Actually break it down and spend some time perfecting each of the moves, each of the steps along the way. I just started the video saying I've got five tips. I don't even know if I've got five, hopefully I do. But tip number three is, get some lifting shoes. Sure, you can lift in Nanos and Metcons, um, but if you're gonna be doing this for a long time, if you're kind of committed to uh, perfecting your snatches and your cleaning jerks, lifters are made for lifting. So um, I would invest in a good pair of lifters. It's made a huge difference for me, and there's a reason why Olympic lifters wear special type of shoe. I guess the same as runners, they are best into good running shoes. So um, don't go out and spend money if you're not committed to improving these lifts, but if you really want to get that, uh, that extra bit out of it, I'm a big believer in having proper lifting shoes that are made for the job. And of course, my recommendation is going to be the Nike Roma Leo, because uh, I've lifted with these for 10 years and I love them. Okay, tip number four. Measure the success of your snatch not based on how much weight you're lifting, but how easy it felt, or how clean it felt. And uh, let that be the determining factor when you kind of measure your success. Make sure you film yourself, have a look at the lifts, and you know, let's say for example, you're stuck on 60 kgs, you can get that up, it looks pretty ugly. Don't just keep adding weight to the bar, 
See if we can get that 60 looking schmick. See if we can get that 60 looking the way that an empty bar looks and feels. And, uh, and that is success, you know. With these lifts, the progress when it comes to weight increases becomes so small as you kind of reach your potential that it can be pretty disheartening. So you've got to find other ways to measure it. And I think looking at things like feeling, how effortlessly it felt or how beautiful it looked, that's going to be a, a really encouraging measurement rather than just getting fixated on weight. Hey, that's high up, Papa. That's very high, bubs. Okay, we're starting to get up there. 70, here we go. Okay, my final tip, tip number five, before I zone in, get focused and get this 95 kgs up, is develop a little routine for yourself. I find having the same routine before every lift just brings focus and consistency to every lift. So come up with your own little routine. I stamp the ground, I always put the same hand out first. I'll show you my little routine now, eh? So yeah, I found that having a little routine for myself just brings focus to the lift. I know that once that routine starts, it's on, and uh, mentally I just switch on. So, so get your own little funky routine, and then just go in with confidence. You know, it's so much of a mindset when you get to these heavy loads. If you have any doubt, it's all over. You got to just go in and just uh, manhandle the bar. You know, grip and rip with control. Grip and rip, be aggressive, but uh, without yanking the thing out of control. Tell you what feeling so insecure about putting out tips on snatches, but you just gotta do it, you know? If you feel like you've got something to share with the world, just put it out there. Who cares if someone criticizes you or someone doesn't agree with you? I think those tips are good, and uh, although I'm nervous about putting things out like this because, you know, I'm not like a professional coach or anything, you gotta back yourself sometimes, you know? Get over the fear and just do it anyway. Savage. Just chewed that dead skin off like a savage. Look at the state of his hand. Can you see that? Oh my gosh. Luckily the skin underneath is not tender. It's like not, it's not fresh skin. It seems like it's already kind of normal skin. So it's not, it doesn't hurt. I don't know if you remember last week, but when I was trying to snatch 95 kgs, um, the dog came up, my daughter came up, the cat came up, my camera died, just everything went wrong. Just lost, uh, lost momentum and got distracted. So. I just tie the dog up and uh, I think we're good to go. Okay. Just missed 85. I'm not going to attempt it again. Didn't feel heavy. I just lost the forwards in that first pull, so it's all good. We'll go to 90. Power snatch 90, baby. Is that a power snatch? Actually, a little bonus tip for you. This is probably a bonus tip for myself. You have to squat more, eh? <laughs> Overhead squat, front squat, back squat. Just have to squat more. And uh, work on your ankle mobility. Both of those two things, I don't do enough of and I hate. Hence my squat is so rubbish. 95, let's go. Oh, I've got it, I've got that. Ah, come on. Hit it. Easy, baby. Yo! We got it up team, took three attempts, but got it up. Not sure how clean it was, didn't feel amazing. And I think that's definitely my upper limit at the moment. So I'm not gonna bother trying 100. Um, I've only got 2.5 kg plates, so from 95, I've gotta go straight to 100, which I'm, uh, I don't think I've got right now. In fact, I think for me to get back to 100 and go beyond that, I've really gotta apply these tips that I mentioned today, and uh, especially drilling the positions and squatting. So that's what I'll be doing. And uh, I really wanna snatch 105. My best ever is 100, so the goal is 105. So yeah, let me know if those tips were helpful. I'd love to see your pre-lifting routines if you're gonna create one for yourself. Hope you're staying well, hope you're training hard, hope you're excited about the Open. If you're not signed up yet, get signed up, join me, let's do it. And uh, 
I'm gonna try and put out one more video before I go to Sydney on Monday. I've decided I'm gonna fly. I was gonna drive down the coast, but um, it's an eight hour drive. The flight is like an hour and a half and it costs like 85 bucks at the moment to fly to Sydney. So it just doesn't make sense to drive for eight hours. It's gonna cut my days with Khan shorter. It's gonna cut my day with Ricky shorter. So I think I'd rather maximize my time with the athletes and fly. I was looking forward to that drive down the coast, but I think I'll do that another time. I wanna be fresh when I hang out with these athletes and I wanna have as much time as possible. So I'll be flying to Sydney on Monday, spending the day with Khan, so that vlog will come out first. And then I'll spend Tuesday with Ricky. That content might take a little while to come out. I really wanna spend a good amount of time putting that story together. So that might be a couple of weeks after I film it that it comes out. But I'll put some micro content out on Instagram in the meantime anyway. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, Make sure you do that. I don't even know what my handle is. I'll put my handle on the screen right here. Other than that, beautiful people, stay sexy, keep roaring love, go do some snatching and send me your pre-lifting routines. Let me know if those five tips helped at all. And uh, I'll catch you very soon. <laughs>